Welcome back to uh, part two of the uh, definitive demonstration to prove uh, claims of infinite efficiency and energy creation. So in this demonstration, we are going to be um, recharging the battery that's on the floor in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and um, we're going to be using prototype number two that has uh, four salient pole Regen X generator coils in it uh, for uh, commercially manufactured um, salient pole uh, Regen X coils. Salient pole means um, um, individually wound rather than a, a cage wound or a squirrel cage uh, type uh, system. And uh, we're going to operate the, the prototype in generator mode. We are going to, uh, in Regenx generator mode first, and, uh, and then motor mode as well. And uh, I've weighed the, the mass of the rotating components and uh, measured the uh, diameter of the generator's rotor and uh, so we can calculate uh, the rotational kinetic energy at um, our initial rotational kinetic energy on, at, on no load at uh, rotational equilibrium and then uh, we can calculate the final kinetic energy of the system when it's uh, in generator mode, in regenerative acceleration generator mode. And uh, then we can uh, also uh, figure out, uh, calculate the final kinetic energy in regenx quantum mode. So um, once again, I'll fire up the system, and uh, I'll be taking, I'll be placing the generator on load first, and uh, you'll be able to observe the power going to the battery, the current, and the voltage, and then the second part will be motor mode, pure. Uh, kinetic energy increase with zero externally supplied input energy so that's uh, the energy creation part and uh, we can calculate the amount of energy that's created by uh, understanding what the the magnitude of rotational kinetic energy increase so um, I'll end in uh, the third part of the demo is I'm going to lower the speed and I'm going to, so what that does is it puts the regen X generator coils into conventional generator operation and um, the difference between a Regenx, Regenx, a regenerative acceleration operation and conventional generator operation is the frequency of operation of the generator coil. So you'll be able to see the Regenx generator operation, Regenx quantum motor operation, and uh, conventional generator operation. And you'll be able to observe the power consumption by the prime mover and once again we we will be fulfilling all the obligations of the 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 
definitive demonstration criteria.
I don't work here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, um, in the third third part, uh, we were operating the the regen X generator below the critical minimum frequency of the coil, and. Uh, Below the critical minimum frequency of the coil, the Regen X coil operates as a conventional generator coil and it performs uh, negative work or um, system kinetic energy reduction. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to do that again. Zero RPM. So uh, again, the conventional generator uh, decelerated the system pretty much to a complete stall and uh, required additional input power from the prime mover. And the Regenx generator accelerated the system. It increased the kinetic energy of the system. And I will be calculating the kinetic energy, the rotational kinetic energy of the system at uh, on no load at, at rotational equilibrium, and calculating the uh, rotational kinetic energy for the region X generator. Uh, and the increase, the increase in kinetic energy is equal to the energy created because we're not supplying any additional uh, input energy to the system. And um, then the Regen X quantum motor, same thing again. The kinetic energy uh, increase is equal to the uh, work performed, which is equal to the energy created. And then the conventional generator um, where it performs negative work, uh, kinetic energy reduction from 1800 RPM basically down to zero. So the energy that's, the work that's, the negative work that's performed in the conventional generator is equal to the uh, the energy that's created, the subatomic quantum electron energy that is created. That's it. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Cheers for now.